Okay, good morning. Uh, we are, I'm here in San Francisco and um, Wolf is where are you in the East Coast, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm based out of New York, but I'm in Maryland right now. Maryland, my goodness. How did you end up there from New York? Because <laughs> my girlfriend lives here. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So it's going back and forth kind of thing. I'm spending more time here right now, but um, I do go to, you know, now that New York is opening up, I do go back um, for gigs, uh, for shows, concerts, and uh, different, different, um, different uh, uh, bookings. Yeah, so, and my sister, what's that? Uh, you, you play the guitar in your bookings? Yeah, I play guitar and sing, and I have many. I know many musicians in New York, so it's um, I can always do, do concerts with them. Because when I'm not with them, I'm always live streaming. Oh, um, yeah, live so, streaming concerts. Uh, so the martial art is also part of your life, right? Yeah, every day I practice, and I also teach group group classes and private classes. Where in New York? Um, right now, that's been all on Zoom because of the coronavirus. So, does it matter where you are? It doesn't matter. No. That's awesome. This way, you can move around freely without worrying about your students. So that's awesome. Yeah. So, what do you teach exactly? Uh, um, what do I teach? Oh, it's it's um. The Taigong, I, I created my own style of exercise called Taigong. Taigong. So what it is, it's Tai Chi. Yeah. Okay. T-I-A and then the other word is G-O-N-G because it comes from the, the combination of Tai Chi and Qigong. So that's why I call it Taigong. Okay. And I added okay. in the these. Yeah. yeah. So, so how long have you been doing that? Like most of your life? Yeah. Yeah. I've been studying martial arts since I was 10 years old, but the teaching of the Taigong has been the last five years. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. So you look like, uh, you, are you fit? Like you're in pretty good shape doing that sport? Yeah. I mean, it's not like, um, the kind of, uh, fit that you see people with um, who go to lift weights and they're really muscly yeah, and ripped yeah. up like Bruce Lee. Yeah. Um, but you f you have uh, you feel good, and uh, it it basically just keeps you in good health. Okay. And sickness and all kinds of things. Yeah. You you do the flip, so that's too hard. No, um, I don't do the flips, although. No, no, I don't do flips. I did capoeira, capoeira years ago um, when I was living in Brazil, but I don't do it anymore. Okay, so basically you love you love doing it. You're going to keep on doing it, and the music. So the reason I invited you actually is because the first thing I read was multilingual singer, and I'm trying to develop a bilingual TV with more languages. Mm -hmm. So when you sing, you actually do sing in multiple languages and different at different times. Yeah, I mean, I lived in Brazil for three and a half years, so I can sing and speak Portuguese fluently. Wow. Um, but recently I started to also pick up some Spanish because it's so close to it's easy if you learn if you know Portuguese first, Spanish is much easier. And then before the coronavirus, I took six months to a year of French. Oh, vous parlez um, français? Parle... Oui. <laughs> um. ben, C'est bien ça, on pourra faire l'interview. Un peu. Un peu. Okay. <laughs> Un peu. Um, so, well, what happened was the coronavirus, but the reason why I, I, I wanted to learn French is because um, 2000, 18, I think I went to, I went to West Africa, to a country where they speak French. Uh, it was the Republic of Guinea. Oh, really? So, yeah, and I went there to study guitar, um, African style guitar. I went to study for like a month, 
Nine. So it was, too, it, yeah, it was very hard to communicate. Really, no one speaks English in French West Africa. They, they say they do, but they just they don't. So oh, um, so yeah, you you would have so right there you have Portuguese, Spanish, French, English. That's four. You're gonna yeah. add two, two more. No, I mean when I was in when I went when I went to Africa, I picked up some of the words in the local oh, the language. Arabic? So the Arabic words. Not. No, I actually do. I can write a little Arabic. I can I can read Arabic. I don't speak it a little bit. But um, no, the the not Arabic. They have um, they Swahili? have several. What's that? There's a language called Swahili. No, no, it's they speak more Mandinka and Susu, and also in Sierra Leone where I went there, they speak Creole, which is really close to English. It's basically broken English. So Creole was very easy to, to pick up oh, okay. um, English Creole. Yeah. So those, I, I use them like in, in some songs. Yeah. Creole is like a broken French kind of thing. Right. And they have the, they have the English version in oh, Sierra so Leone. You went, you went to Haiti? No, Sierra Leone. Sierra it's right Leone. next to Guinea. Yeah. It's the border of Guinea. So, um, the, the, it would be kind of similar to probably the way Jamaicans speak. It's a lot like a pidgin oh, okay. English. Yeah. But if you're an English speaker, you would be able to figure out most of it. You know? So did you adjust to the culture of Sierra Leone and then to the culture yeah. of Brazil? So it's totally different, right? Yeah, I like, I mean, I'm really comfortable in uh, what they call the developing world, um, probably more than here. I don't know. I've always been that way. So I have, uh, I've been to India too. So I have no problem to be in like those th so-called third world countries. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard yeah, it's I feel, very I hard feel... sometimes because we see very... Oh, thing. no, especially in India. Uh, I would say India, I saw a lot of poverty. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's some people yeah. are heartbroken and they leave. No, I didn't have that experience like to leave, but it can. I mean, you know, it's interesting. They do. They are some of the poorest people, but they people seem happy. Also seem really happy. They're like they I don't know. They seem happier than people in the, in the States. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, like you. Yeah, you don't see people going to psychology. You don't see people don't have the depression the way we do here. Oh yeah, we take pills here. Okay. Yeah, even in Brazil, the street. You know Brazil. You know about the street kids and everything. There's all these street kids, but people and there's a lot of poor people. But they they do generally seem even also they're happier than. They're more people. balanced uh, psychologically, maybe. And also, they're outside more. I think the culture if here seems like more people are just in all the time um over there people are generally outside all the time most of also, the time uh, drugs are more available in the united states i mean we have some districts here where it's uh, just um, invaded by drug uh, pushers and stuff uh, sure yeah so that's yeah. the flag that we have in the united states the drug pushers <laughs> Sure. People, people yeah. spend uh, their social security on the first day for drugs. But that's another issue. Uh, so let's talk more about you. Uh, what kind of music do you sing or, or play? Um, I sing different genres. Uh, I sing rhythm and blues. I sing folk music. I play folk music. I play reggae. I play blues. Um, I play some rock. I really play a little bit of everything. Oh, okay. um, I don't. I don't stick to one style. Okay, so that's what you play. And then, if you pick a song, is it from another composer? There are some covers I do. Um, there's a few cover tunes I do. Usually, I uh, usually I do them my own my own way. Um, like I make them my own. Sometimes I'll add some words, or I'll add a verse, or a chord, or something different. And usually they're, they're artists um, more classic, classic, um, from so, like, from so old, you pick, older, from you the, pick the lyrics, you pick the lyrics and you try to sing it or something like that. 
yeah i i do them my own way like uh i don't play them the same way but also they're they're much older songs I, like i do uh i do one cover from sam cook i do a lot of brazilian covers too actually but uh those are more mpb mpb which is music popular brasileiro which is like their it's like their singer songwriter pop genre um and that's so it's not really it's not bossa nova it's it's like more um what what you would hear people playing in bars in, in brazil okay Gilberto Gil. you, you heard of Gilberto Gil like artists like that Gilbert Brazil. Okay, so Gilbert So do you play that in public or per, per privately for yourself, or do you record at all? No, I play those. I play those in my shows. So oh, people, you do. Okay. People, yeah, people here really like the Brazilian songs. Um, and sometimes what I do is I'll take a Brazilian song, and I'll try to um, translate some of the verses into English. So I'll do like. Uh, the, the song will start the way it does in Portuguese, and then by the third verse, I'll do the same verse in English. Okay, got so it. So people here can, can, or I'll do the chorus in English, so people here can understand what the song is that's, saying. That's what I do with my show. I, I record in French, then the second part is in English. In your case, okay. I don't know if I can do the second part in French. I don't know if you're up to it, but this... this with uh, me with speaking French? Yeah, can you do a second part in French or you, you I don't know. I could try. It's been a while. <laughs> it's it's been a while. I, uh, I haven't been, I have not been studying, so. Okay, um, maybe I'll attempt it later. Uh, so sure. the people who you play for are connected to your friends in New York who goes to venues or, or clubs where they play and they invite you and you sing or you are a solo performer? Um, I'm a solo performer. Usually when I book gigs, it's, it's under my name. And then what I do is I have different scenarios. I have um, sometimes just me with a guy playing the percussion. Sometimes it's me with a, I, I've had um, whole bands like, like bass, guitar, drums. Um, so there's different scenarios, whatever um, fits the situation and whoever's available. I, know, I, I have like different people I can call up and see if they want to play. Okay. And that's how that works. Yeah. Okay. So you are the one who asks people to play with you, not the other way around. Yeah. I see. Right. And I also, I also can play alone just because I, because I, because I play guitar, I can play. I don't necessarily need a, need a band. I could just do it myself too, but it's nice to have the the um, chemistry with different musicians. That's why I like it. Can you do one verse in in maybe Portuguese, English, and then one verse in French, or like see the bilingualism there? Right now. No, I mean, you said uh, sometimes you play the second verse in the language of the audience. Yeah. So can you do one verse so, so we can see what you do actually? Sure, so you want me to sing a, a, a verse in Portuguese and then in English, right? Yes, so that's the idea. Okay, sure, um, let's see. And then maybe we'll have you do uh, the Portuguese American mm -hmm. show. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is a song um, called As, As Lanternos dos Afogados. Yeah. Um, so Are you of Spanish origin yourself? No, I'm, I'm actually Lith Lithuanian. Left winger? That's Li not. Lith Lithuanian. Oh, Lithuanian. Lithuanian. Okay. Yeah, that's my background, yeah. Um, but you do look Spanish. <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny you said that because in Brazil, I never had any problems. Like people always thought I was Brazilian. Really? So, I, yeah, I didn't have any pro. I didn't have problems like people. Oh, maybe your American. ancestors were of 
Spanish descent, you know, Spain and all that. Could be. I have some Jewish Jewish side, so maybe. I think it's more like Russian. Oh, Russian. Okay. Yeah. So you do understand Russian? No, I don't understand. Not at all. Okay. You born here then? I was born here, yeah. Okay, so you're a uh, full-grown American. Okay, so go ahead, your verse. Let's see. Sure. When it's dark out and no one can hear you and the night comes and you sit down and cry and there's a light at the end of the tunnel for the desperate and the chosen of you I'm in the light coming out of the darkness and I'll be waiting but don't take too long oh yeah yeah so it's kind of uh, the tune is soothing the it's like a melody yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something uh, that you would listen actually when you're ready to fall asleep. Um, <laughs> um, but it's not like a beat or anything. It's just soothing uh, kind of music. Yeah, there are some more up-tempo songs, but that's a more laid back. I like that one as far as the translation, yeah. Okay. So now I get it. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of music you listen to while relaxing over a drink maybe in a in a restaurant yeah most of my songs are kind of um easy listening i would say i i like to refer to my music as road trip music so driving on a road trip you put in my my, my music would be appropriate for that like driving down the highway oh yeah yeah something to soothe the mind yeah yeah that but when I do a show, like I had a show last week, I, I do, I will do some up-tempo songs because when you're doing a concert, if you're doing all songs like that, you could, you could put the whole audience to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You're a naturally a quiet uh, person. You're not really agitated or anything. You're very mellow. That's your personality. Pretty mellow, yeah. You yeah. Remember, I'm pretty mellow, yeah. Yeah, that's your personality all the time or just today? No, most of the time, and although I do get annoyed when I drive with people, um, bugging you. Doing, yeah, bumping or beeping. I, I, I will. You will see another. I know. I, I heard yeah. that people let their frustrations out on the road because they cannot let them out at home or at the office. So on the road, they get at each other and let it all out because they know they won't see those people again. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So there is another oh. side, but I'm pretty mellow. I, I, I'm, I, You're I pretty mellow I'm even on the road. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't end up screaming at people like, or. Girls, yeah, or, some people who are. It's really rare. It's really rare for, for me to get to that point. It can happen though, of course. Yeah, yeah. Some people are on coffee or something and they don't control their emotions. I, I love coffee, but yeah. I don't know what you mean. You're not on coffee right now for sure because today you are very mellow i'm drinking tea oh it's caffeinated yeah oh but it's uh, probably less harsh than coffee yeah i mean i'll have a coffee later today pretty strong coffee so okay uh, you go to like the corner uh no Mar shop? maryland there is no there's no corners in maryland there is no like corner coffee shops no? no i mean there's starbucks but you have to drive about 10 minutes but it's oh not God. like it's not like new york there's not um street culture where you could just walk out and go to the deli and get coffee so i have i make my own coffee 
pretty, you know. Do, do you follow the news of New York? You know, it's funny you ask that. I, I was, I've been in the habit every night I watch one, I watch the local New York news once. Eric Adams, uh, Andrew Yang. Eric Adams is leading right now. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be mayor. I heard he's not that good, but that's what, I don't know. I, I well, think... he, has, he has been 30 years a policeman, so he knows what's going on in the city for sure. Yeah, I mean, I asked someone the other day and they said, no, he's not really that good, but I, I, that's what their opinion. No, what, it's, I, don't... It's, it, I mean, he's not up there in, for like intellectualism, like Andrew Young. Right. But he's yeah. definitely on the ground. Like he knows what's happening out there. Sure. Um, he, has, he has seen it all. Yeah. Well, hopefully he can do a better job than our last mayor. because that. Yeah, but uh, you know, since he has so much experience uh, regarding crime and I hope that's where he'll make the most impact to reduce crime. Yeah, that's one of the things that surprised me about watching the news every night in New York. There's, there's a lot of violence now since the since the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a lot of uh, a lot of people attacking uh, different ethnic groups and stuff. Yeah, it's but too, uh, it's, it's social social issues that need to be tackled. Also, not just sure. uh, not just the violence. It's mostly education. People need to be better educated, for sure. In any yeah. event, um, my, my philosophy is French. I think it starts all with the education. If you're well educated, mm -hmm. all of the rest will not happen when you're an adult. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that a lot of the way we are comes from our family. If your mother and father raised you a certain way with certain values, I think they will stay with you for your whole life. Exactly. So if yeah. the kid is raised in a violent environment, that's what he'll take out to the street. For sure. Yeah, definitely. I agree 100%. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your guitar is just a standard guitar. It's not electrical. It's just like... Uh, uh, oh, this, you can plug this in. Yeah. Oh, you can plug it's it? Called, okay. Yeah, it's called an acoustic electric. Oh, you can plug it and make it to sound more vibrant more good you can put um different effects like when i play reggae there's a sound that goes chink 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 that i use oh okay you can add little variation yeah. how many yeah. people can you play with like if you have a group you would have uh, what kind of instrument the piano and what else um i would say the biggest group i had i had um this was a while ago i had bass drum um I think guitar, wait, bass, bass drum, drum, and and a horn section. And a three horn. Different, yeah, that was the big, one of the biggest groups I've had. So that's four instruments with you. Well, three. The horn, six. the bass, and the. Yeah, because I was playing guitar. There was a bass player, a drummer, and then we had three horns, so six people. Oh, three horns. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I can play with any any. Um, Number. number of musicians yeah it doesn't there's no i don't think there's any limit hopefully next uh year you'll come to san francisco for the uh jazz festival which is supposed to be july 4th i don't know if they're gonna keep it this year because they already canceled juneteenth festival outdoors but um they did not can cancel stern grove festival uh which is two concerts every Sunday in the park. So that they did not cancel. So that is that, um, so you're Concert, saying to come there. Concerts in the park for 10 weeks of the summer have not been canceled. Oh, but you're saying like, hopefully next year I can come there and play. Yeah, at the jazz festival on Fillmore, the Fillmore Jazz. That'd be great. Do you, do you know the people who do the booking there? Uh, I can send you a link. Just uh, just Google uh, Fillmore Jazz Festival. It's always the first Sunday of July. Okay, you know, I used, before before the Corona, I used to go every year to teach. Um, I would teach uh, a Taigong workshop up and down in, in Carmel. Oh, um, that's beautiful there. Yeah, and beach. 
so beautiful and they and they had um when i was down there every time i went there i would do a, i would play there i would do i would do like one gig i would book a gig wow you know, even though so, uh, Carmel i went there is driving distance to san francisco so you it's possibly yeah so you can make it yeah, hope, sure i love it there i absolutely love it out there did you ever drive through through uh, the golden gate yeah i've been yeah i've been um across the golden gate i've been to alcatraz i've been to berkeley i love that whole area i was there a lot um not a lot but i've been there throughout you know the 90s i was there in the in the, the last few years i went there before the coronavirus oh that's awesome so yeah so uh, check. Uh, I'm gonna check online uh, after the interview if the Fermo Jazz Festival is happening this year. If not, definitely next year. So it's always a sure. weekend. It's a weekend festival, like Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Thousands of yeah. people from all over the world, and there's many stages, not just one stage. Okay. Yeah. So I look forward to meet you. So do you want to attempt five minutes? Uh, just. Uh, to see your French, yeah, sure, uh, I'll try. Yeah. Bonjour. Uh, ton nom c'est Wolf. Bonjour. Wolf Glass. Oui. Wolf, et, Wolf Glass. Oui. Et tu as passé uh, un an ou neuf mois à, en France. You, tu as, tu as vécu oh. neuf mois en France. Tu étais neuf oh. mois en France. Oui, par Paris. À Paris. Oui. Et, et tu étais en étudiant. Were you a student? Non, travail. Ah, oh, pour travailler. Ah, d'accord. Pour que, quel pour enseigner le King Kong, Jing Kong. To teach Jing Kong. Oh non. Um... J'ai été ouais. musicien. Travail. Yeah, non, travail euh, avec production de théâtre. Ah, une production de théâtre, ok. Et tu étais oui, le musicien un, Tu étais. Un, avec une tournée. Avec une tournée. Tu étais le musicien oui. You were the uh, musician no, um, j'ai été travail production. Ah, son. la production, uh, yeah. le son. Yeah, uh, la, le son, uh, son, montage de son. Le montage de son, ok. Oui. Oh, the sound, you were the sound engineer and the soundboard person. No, um, je travaille um, avec the engineer. Avec les ingénieurs. Yeah, I was like under, underneath. Ah, c'est bien. C'était sympathique. Yeah. Tu as rencontré beaucoup de gens. Beaucoup de gens. Did you meet a lot of people? Uh, oui, oui, in Paris. Oui. Oui. Um, oui, no, no, uh, dans le théâtre, um, beaucoup, beaucoup de gens. J'ai rencontré. Et la, en ville, in the city. Oui. Aussi. Oui. Uh, dans la rue, j'encontre je, je, la personne. Tu étais là-bas en été et au printemps? In the spring and summer? Ah, what time? No, it was de, de, décembre. Ah, quel froid. Yeah, froid. So, did you ever spend the summer in Paris? No. No, but j'aime Paris. Tu aimes Paris? Parce que en décembre, il fait froid. In December, it was cold, right? Oh, je ne sais pas. Ah bon? Et, mais tu as aimé quand même. You liked it anyway. Oui. Um, oui. Pourquoi? Ah, si, uh, j'ai été, un, there was a store 
where you can buy music, music, ah, oui. CDs. Oui. Forget that. Finac, Finac. La Finac. La Finac. La Finac. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever drive through the south or no? No. Oh, maybe next time you can go to the French Riviera, Cannes, Nice, all those. Uh, je, je veux uh, connaître uh, Corsica. Corsica? Oh, that's beautiful. The, the beach is beautiful. Yeah. So you should visit the, all the coast, the south coast of, Paris, of France. Sure. Yeah, it, it's worth your trip. A lot of uh, people go there on vacation, mostly July and August. Okay. And uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It will be maybe a bit shocking to you on the beach, but uh, you'll get used to it. Oh, because people don't wear... Don't wear the uh, topless, topless. Oh, okay. I heard about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first day you have to wear glasses so you don't look. <laughs> <laughs> right. And after that, you get used to it. Uh, but anyway, after that becomes natural, becomes normal. Sure. But anyway, I hope you enjoy your trip to France if you go back uh, to the south. Yeah. Uh, uh, je veux. Je veux. Je veux. Je veux. Jouer. Jouer en France. En France, pourquoi je pense. Um, I, will, I think I will be. Uh, they, will, they will like my music. Oui, surtout uh, à Nice, il y a beaucoup dans, en été des musiciens dans la rue piétonne. You know, they have a street where it's only people walking. Okay. And a lot of musicians there play during the summer. Yeah, a long, since a long time, people have told me, oh, you have to go play in Paris because if you do gu guitar and voice, people will appreciate more than in America. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it next time you go. And uh, okay. I appreciate your time. I know uh, you have uh, a lot of work to get going. Uh, and you might have a class today. Do you have a class online today? Today, no, I have one um, Friday. Oh, okay. So this is Today your lunch time a... anyway. It's your lunch time. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate talking to you. And uh, I'll send you the, the footage. You do whatever you want with it, post it, or uh, keep it for yourself, for friends and family. And then I'll send you the information for the film or jazz. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay. Um... Oh, I have a live stream on Sunday. What uh, time? At, at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, 8 p.m. You're know. talking about 8 p.m.? Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's it's 5 p.m. Pacific Time, California. 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, um, I can send you the link later, okay. but it'll be on a video. You, oh, I'd, I'd love to, to, to add that to the show at the end. Okay, so I'll send you, um, I'll send you the link. Um, the, through, through. the link and the footage, yeah, I'll record it. Oh, great. So should I send you the link when we get off of there or send it to LinkedIn? Well, you send me the link and uh, while you play at 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. California okay. time, I will play push record. Oh, and you can play, play some of it on the show. Yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to record. Uh, but uh, if not, you'll send me the footage. But that would okay. be tomorrow. It'll be Sunday. Oh, Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday. It'll be this Sunday. OK, so I'll, I'll write it on my agenda. So thank you so much. Have a great uh, day and enjoy New York. Okay. I mean, enjoy you in Maryland. Enjoy Maryland. Well, actually, I'm going to New York tomorrow. You are. All right. Yeah, I have a show. I, I'm playing. I'm playing tomorrow night with a with a group. I'm wow. playing with a group tomorrow night. Oh. So maybe I'll record it. You know what I might do? Um, I might do it a live on Facebook tomorrow night while I'm playing. Oh, okay. So I can. Okay. Uh, I, I do will, you have Facebook? I do. So yeah, I'll send you the information. Be, it will be on Wolf Glass uh, 
profile? Yeah, Wolf Z Glass with a Z in the middle. Wolf okay, Z Glass. Okay, Wolf Z Glass. Okay, I'll look for it after this. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, Have a great day. You. you too, thanks. Merci. Merci. <laughs>